Hey guys, welcome back to another settlement building video. This time we are on a billboard and it was quite tricky to build on, but I'm gonna run through how I built it in this video. And then of course, I'm gonna show you around later on. I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, cheers. So first things first, I'm gonna show you my location. I'm just below the top of the world in these mountains here. Uh, I like this location because well, just look at that view. And of course the uh, billboards here as well. So I use this method for most of my builds as I usually build on existing structures. So I have this foundation here in the perfect position so I can kind of build around the entire billboard in a way that it looks like it's supposed to be clipped on. Like nothing looks like it's floating, everything's tight against it. As you can see as I build these stairs up. Go for this one here. It's lined up perfectly. And this will be the foundation of the entire build basically. You kind of just build stairs up, wrap it around. It takes a while to kind of get the right position because you, you'll build up to the top and then it will be like, oh, this, this, this one is not clipping in. So you're gonna have to start again and sort of reposition it. I didn't show that part of the video because it's, it's a very long and tiring thing to do, but I kind of, I hope you get the idea. So the floors are in now, and as you can see, it wraps around pretty nicely. Of course, we're gonna do a second floor at some point, but let's get the balls out of the way first. So the billboard is quite an awkward size, so I have to put down floors like this, which makes it a bit tricky doing the walls. As you can see, there's a couple of gaps here, but I did find a way around this. If I were to put a floor in front of it, I should be able to clip a wall in, like so. I've only just discovered this. I'm, I'm not sure if it's like a known thing, but it's pretty cool to know anyway. So let's finish off the walls around here and uh, we'll start doing the second floor. So before we start on the second floor, I'm gonna make another entrance here. So there's gonna be two separate entrances. This entrance here will just be a dead end, kind of overlooking the view. This is where like my shops are gonna be and uh, some workshops for people coming by. And then here, once I put the foundations in, um, that's, that's going to be my way into the home. I mean, this settlement's going to be like a passing through kind of settlement. Like it's nothing, it's nothing too grand. It's kind of like just to chill for a few days and then sort of be on my way. So yeah, let's, um, let's start cracking on the second floor and, uh, we'll come back to this later on. So the stairs are in now, so let's start putting the floors in. I'm going to put it across the billboard here. So when I started this before, at this point, they wouldn't clip in and I had to readjust that first foundation again and kind of move it forward just the tiniest bit. And uh, yeah, that was a bit, that was a bit long, but we got there. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna build across up here and then I'm gonna start doing the walls. We're making progress now. As you can see, I've put the stairs up, all the walls are up. And if you look closely, as I said before, it's right up against it, no gaps at all. I know there's a gap here, and a gap here, but that, that doesn't bother me too much as long as it's like tight up against it. I mean, there's always going to be a gap either side because of the awkward size. So yeah, let's start building the watchtowers now. So far, so good. Right. So in this area, I want to start doing a roof and I want it to slope all the way up here. And the way to do that is quite tricky because I need to have like a, like a wall and a half up to here so I can sort of carry on the roof. But the only issue is, is the doorway one, it just won't fit in there with the stairs there. So what I have to do is I have to put some stairs here just for now, so I can delete that one. And then now I should be able to put the wall in, but I need to place it this way for the roof to kind of point up that way. But the only issue is with that is that it won't fit in like that. So there is a way around it though. So if we start putting the wall in like so, and then we'll put our roof on. Come on, should be able to clip on. If we delete that one first actually, and delete these ones as well. And if we uh, sort of try and clip it in so we can move that wall, You'll see what I mean in a minute. And now that's holding it onto that wall. 
I can now turn that around. So now I can put the stairs in. Bit of a pain, but <laughs> we found a way around it. So now I'm gonna build a roof all the way along here. And uh, yeah, we'll try and clip a wall in here as well, like we did before earlier. Got most of the rooftop done now. Just need to fill this area in. Fill this space here. And uh, this one's a bit of a weird one because um, if I put a wall in here, I, I, can, I can merge it into the other wall, but it leaves a small gap. Luckily, luckily I can fit through. But like I've tried it before, I can actually walk through, so it will do. It's just that I don't really want a gap here. So it's the only option really, but as long as people can get through it, that's, that's all that matters really. Over here, we want to extend the wall for the entrance. So yeah, we'll build some walls around here, roof over it, and we'll put the foundations down. So that's the new entrance done now. So if we start putting the walls up here, like so, put a solid one in the middle. I'll keep this one open for now because we're going to have a walkway across here. We want to fill this area as well. We'll use a uh, wood this time. And I want to put like a rooftop over it. I can now delete these set of stairs now because this, this one here acts like a support. So if we put that there, we want to have metal ones either side. Now time for the roof. I would have built this all the way round, but because of the awkward size, there's going to be like a gap here, which would look a bit silly and pointless. So I kind of just kept this corner open. I feel like it looks good. So now for my favorite part, the top floor. And we're going to start off with this small plank here. And then we're going to do two long ways across. There is a reason for this. So I can put the stairs along here. This allows me to um, use the uh, full floors and line it up perfectly. As you can see, it clips up nicely. And obviously the building line starts there. And if we uh, build all the way across. I mean, as I said before, I came to a, an issue up here as well where it wouldn't sort of clip in it was stopping me from building there. So I had to like drag it all the way down again, start from scratch and readjust. I'm glad you guys didn't have to see that, but we got there again. I think there will do. And I think there'll be a walkway underneath here. I don't know the purpose for this walkway yet, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Oh, I missed a part of the rooftop there. So I've put up some barricades up here. <laughs> I've also got a hot tub up here because why not? Uh, I've got a doorway up. Uh, there will be a door going in there at some point. I've also put these lights up here because I feel like it will look pretty cool at night. Uh, I've sorted out the electrics. As you can see, the power connectors run all the way through, all the way down there as well, so I can power the settlement. I think I'm going to put the uh, generator here. I can't really find anywhere else to put it. I don't think this is a bad place. It's kind of like out the way. So yeah, let's uh, connect that up. So I've placed some foundation down here because I want to build underneath. And as you can see, I've got a few friends, so we've got to keep them dry. So we're going to have a mixture of uh, metal and wood. We'll have a wood here. Wooden doorway as well. And I've got it just the perfect height to put uh, like a slopey roof across, as you will see in a minute. It's quite tricky to clip in, but almost had it. There we go. Once you get that first one in, the rest should be easy. There we go. And we'll fill these sides in. You can't get around the back there, so that's good. One back here as well. 
I think I'll, I'll um, extend the foundation. And there you have it. Nice little building underneath. So just a few finishing touches now. I'm going to put some posts around it just to keep it stable. This one should go all the way down there. And then we want one the other side. The only issue of this one is um, it doesn't go through the rocks. So we're going to have to put some light shelves down. And just stack them up. Like that. And yeah, we're going to do the same at the back as well. So we'll put one here. Should go all the way down. And then we'll put one more around here. So that's the post done. That's the building done now. I just need to finish it off with some decorations and then I'll show you around. So it's finally finished now. Let's have a look at the shop. So I've put a load of crafting tables here for people to use. A couple of storage boxes here and there. Of course I've got the shop here. A couple of chairs looking out at the view. Make our way around here. I couldn't place anything in here because it wouldn't let me. It's probably because of the cats. But I managed to put a power armor workshop in here. That's about it. Got an armor workshop there as well. So this would be the first room. I also ran out of budget for light, which is unfortunate. Nice piano in here. Yeah, I would have loved to put more stuff in, but I maxed out the budget really quick. I feel like I've got enough stuff in here to make it look alright. Nice little office area. Yeah, so I managed to fit through this gap nicely. I decided to take out this wall because I wanted to put like a chair here to look out. Because obviously you can't really look over properly. And up here is my bedroom. This door's always locked. Probably the nicest room in this settlement. And down here is like the cooking room. Nothing too fancy. Make a way up here. And along here I decided to put a uh, terminal. This basically controls the lights up there some hanging decorations here as well and of course you know what's up here I would have loved to put more stuff up here as well but of course the budget got maxed out too quick so yeah that is done thank you for watching I'm always building new settlements so consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this and if any of you have any cool locations or any cool places I can build on please let me know in the comments and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.